Hi, I'm Claire with the Painted Sisters, and today we're going to learn how to stamp with Iron Orchid Design Stamps. When you purchase your stamps, they come in a package, and there will be a top plastic sheet and then another plastic sheet. They're kind of all stuck together. Um, you're going to pull the top sheet off and put it to the side because you will need it again. Then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a sanding block, and you're going to go one way and then another way and just lightly sand each stamp like this. And that just gives the stamp some tooth to hold on to the ink or the paint that you're using. So today I have a flower sack tape towel and we're going to put a chicken on it with the word cluck. So I'm gonna pull my chicken off of my stamp and I'm gonna place it stamp side down on my flower sack where I want it to be. And you'll be able to tell that which is the right side when you get your stamps. But you want the stamp side down. And then I'm gonna take my letters. These are typeset letters. They are like an, supposed to be like an old typewriter did them. But I'm gonna make sure that all of these have been sanded good. Okay, I'm gonna take this thing. Oh. I try not to strive for perfection in this. Um, it's difficult to get, first of all. And second of all, I just think it looks better if you you just try to make it um, not quite so perfect. All right, so here, as we need another C right here, and your typeset only comes with one set of alphabet. The way you handle this is you put your first three letters in. And once you've got them kind of like you want them and centered how you would like them, then you move this C over here to show you where it's going to go. And then you put the K in. And that kind of acts like a placeholder for the C. And then I'm going to move it back over here. Like I said, we I'm not striving for perfection in this. So you're going to take your top sheet that you had. And you can see mine's kind of dirty because I've used them so much. And you're going to place them down on your letters and your chicken and just push. Just put some pressure on it. And so then the letters should stick and you're going to turn them over. At this point, we're going to ink. All right, this is Iron Orchid Design. This was a blank ink pad. And we sell these at the booth and online. And this is Iron Orchid Design Permanent Black Ink. To ink your ink pad, you just open it up and just basically go in a couple of different directions to get the ink on there. You usually let it sit for just a little bit. And then you're gonna turn your ink pad over and you're just gonna start pouncing on your design. To get that ink on there. Don't wanna to do too hard because you don't want it to go off on the edge. If you do, it's okay. Just get a paper towel and wipe it off before you turn the stamp over. Okay. And once you feel like you've got enough ink on it, back and try to look and I've got some right down in there. Okay, you're going to flip it over. You're going to hover over, get it where you want it, and then you're going to put it down. Once you put it down, you've committed. You put one hand on it to steady it and then you use the other hand to apply even pressure I go around the outside edges of my stamp to make sure I'm getting a, a, a crisper edge. But you always wanna keep one hand basically holding it steady. If you shift, you will get a, a like double image effect. And once you've done that, it can't really be fixed, so. I'm going to lay all the other letters to the side with the exception of the C. I'm going to come back. 
back and ink the C. Once again, hover over. And just apply even pressure. All right, that's how you stamp. Now, since this towel is 100% cotton, it needs to be heat set, which means I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours, the ink dry good, and then I will take and put another cloth over top of this and iron it with a hot iron, uh, basically because this fabric can take hot, for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds to set the ink so that once you wash it, it doesn't come out or anything. Um, then you're good, it's good. It'll be good for numerous washes. It'll fade a tiny bit, but still just looks, it, it looks like it's been there for a very long time. So IOD stamps are very versatile. You can use them for signs. You can use them on wood. You can use them on flower pots. You can, they're just multiple uses you can use them for. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You also can use paint on them instead of ink. Um, I'll have another video at some point in time demonstrating that. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.